mind telling the community a little bit more about yourself, who you are, what your business is? Yeah, um, real estate investor. We do wholesale and fix and flipping based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Um, company's name, Honky Tonk Homes. Uh, currently, we're doing about three deals a month uh, in wholesales. And um, we flip, try, we're we trying to flip about 12 to 15 properties this year. We're on track for that right now. It's January 25th. So uh, we currently have, we've currently assigned two this month and have one in escrow that we should assign for a wholesale. And we have another flip coming up uh, this week and another one the following week. Um, so we've seen almost all of our business coming through uh, launch control right now. Cold calling is kind of dead. So we're, we're just we're ripping launch control. We have two accounts right now. Probably going to do a third uh, starting Q2. It's about utilizing our data better. So we're trying to squeeze everything we can out of this right now. And then uh, once we see our, our list being overused on one account, we're going to move it over to the next account. Um, so that's, I mean, that's about it. I mean, launch control is awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for saying that. So why launch control? What actually led you to us? Uh, I was using smarter contact and I was just getting pounded on the fees because they do uh, every single text you have to pay per text. I don't know if they still do that, but um, you know, I like to engage in our texting conversations going back and forth before getting them right on the phone. And so uh, I found launch control being more cost efficient and they had a better drip system and a better follow-up system uh, that we utilized as well as the follow-up system as well, um, where you can send batches out and follow up. So I found it a lot easier to integrate a virtual assistant to run my accounts on launch control than it was on some other contact. And so that's that's why I chose launch control. And I've heard some other guys in the real estate industry just recommend launch control and uh, I took it from there. Give it a try, right? When did that happen? How long have you been with us? Mm, I think May of last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think May or might have been April, May or April last year. And started, awesome. with, started with one account and was only sending out about 600 a day. Just to you know, play with it, and now we're up to five thousand a day text messages. All right, wow, almost your first launch control birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's coming up here. So you're gonna celebrate that, I guess. So mm -hmm. you you mentioned follow follow ups. Um, mm -hmm. That's something that, as you probably noticed that I I keep stressing to each and every client how important mm -hmm. they are, why they should be used, and how often as well. So mm -hmm. could you tell tell me a little bit more about your follow-up efforts with launch control? Well, anyone in the real estate industry knows the, the money's in the follow-up. So uh, just, you know, trying to hit the people that will have distress the most um, as much as possible. So the follow-up game is just automated on launch control. And uh, as you know, you know, a lot of real estate is timing. So much of it is timing. So you know, you might catch someone on a bad day and they don't want to respond to a text. They don't want to think about selling their house. They got too much on their plate. But, you know, that same person might get a text a week later and they might be ready to sell. I'm sure every real estate investor could say, I talked to that person on the phone. They're, they didn't want to sell at all. And then you gave them a price and they still didn't want to sell. Then you look on a tax record three weeks later and they sold it for a price less than what you offer them for. So it just shows you, you know, that just timing is everything in this industry. Exactly. Timing and consistency. Mm. This is something that brought you the results that you're currently right. getting with, with your accounts. I'm so happy to see the numbers that you have in there. So mm. speaking of that, would you mind telling us a little bit more about a recent deal you had? Can you walk us through one and telling us some, some more details? Mm, let's see. Uh, last deal we got on launch control came from a uh, potential tire landlord that owner occupied and um you know they they said they they were asking 174 and they texted us straight out you know they're, they're super distressed i'll take 100k for it right now um you know come by it and 
it was just a very direct not every single text message is like that but that was the last text we we got we we're like oh that's money sounds good but we're also getting a lot of people saying call me now like give me a call right now and we'll talk about business and so um, that's where a lot of our leads are coming from or people pushing them to our callers so they could call them right now. Um, but we do get like one out of a dozen, you know, a, a direct, I'll take this price, come buy it right now. And those are the hottest leads, obviously, because they they want to sell immediately. And uh, that's that was our last deal that we just got. Under um, contract, we didn't sell it yet, but yeah, just sorry? got that one. Mm-hmm. Last one, sorry. Oh, I just said uh, we haven't we haven't assigned it yet. We haven't bought it yet, but that was just the last lead we got uh, yesterday, I think, or Monday. It's going to happen. I'm really confident after it. <laughs> after seeing you, what you do, you really have your way with the leads. For us. For sure. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it. No, really, I saw that you really have your way with the leads and everything. You know how to manage the account, most importantly. So regarding that, do you have any either launch control or maybe some, some general investment packs that you want to share with? for the people who, who are uh, mm-hmm. listening to this? I don't think there's really a hack to it. It's just consistency, I like expected. you said. And it's just, just, there's no hack, you know, it's just consistency and, um, you know, being diligent and, and, and following up and texting back and making sure that you, you make the phone call when they ask for a phone call. Sometimes I think when I first started doing this, I was like, is this person trying to sue me when they would say, call me right now, you know? Cause it's like, Oh geez, like they're really want to hop on the phone right now. But you know, it's about, you know, having no fear and, you know, making that phone call because there is a reason why they're, they're asking sometimes, I mean, sometimes they, you call them, they yell at you. Why you have my phone number? Why are you texting me? Yada, yada, yada. That's fine. But um, you know, it's just staying on path and, and doing the work that is cut out for you and it, it, the results speak for themselves. Exactly. I mean, it's working with people, right? Mm-hmm. You cannot expect every conversation to be super pleasant. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. It's worth it. It's worth <laughs> it from, from what I sure. see. <laughs> for sure, yeah. You, I mean, you get your return for uh, what you put in. Um, and and I'm, I'm like, I was telling uh, a, a buddy in my mastermind the other day, I was like, you know, you can't just do this for a month or two months or three months and expect a deal. Like, sometimes it takes six months, you know, and you're going to get texts back from people that you texted in, you know, February of last year. And they come back they, and maybe somehow they slip through your system where you stop following up on their texts and they still have your phone number that they saved it, potential buyer or whatever. And they'll give you a text out the blue. Hey, I'm ready to sell. And we've had that happen two or three times now where I saw the text message and it was like May of last year um, or even uh, you know, this Christmas time last year, and they just followed up themselves. Like, hey, you ready to buy this house? It's like, oh, okay. You know, so uh, it's about the long game uh, using launch control for sure. That is correct. I mean, that's that's why we always stress the importance of drifts. Because if someone mm-hmm. says no now, it doesn't mean that they they will say no two months mm-hmm. from now or a year from now. So that's right. why we cannot really discard those those prospects. We want to mm-hmm. keep following up with them because it's not just you. It happens all the time that uh, mm-hmm. people who refuse the, the offer the first mm-hmm. time just literally chase you to buy their property. So mm-hmm. that happens all the time. And like we mm-hmm. said a little bit ago, like you said, following up is key here. Consistency. And of course, a little bit of hard work. That's it. Mm-hmm. More than a little bit. <laughs> <But still, laughs> as long as it pays off, there is mm-hmm. there is not a problem with that. All right. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I think we, we pretty much got everything covered. But before I let you go, do you have any uh, last words of wisdom you want to share with the community? <laughs> No, I mean, there really is no uh, words of wisdom in this business. It's just about taking action, being consistent, and uh, doing the work that you know that you need to do, right? And uh, don't disqualify a lead just because they're asking too much, you know? That's what you have that drip campaign for, and that's what you have that follow-up for. Uh, Don't disqualify anyone. Get on the phone with everyone. Uh, People have solutions to, to problems that they might not even know and you have the solution for them. So yeah, that's about it. 
that's actually very good advice. I'm pretty sure that, especially the new clients who have never, uh, especially people who are new in, in real estate, they will, they could really take much advantage of what you just said, because it's mm -hmm. really, it's really important. It sounds like a little insignificant thing, but it's a game changer. The effort to I put agree, it Jade. I agree. <laughs> But well, I appreciate you meeting with me and showing me my, my systems and showing me everything on Anytime, here. Logan. My account's looking strong. I appreciate that. Whenever you have any questions or whenever you want to hop on a call and get your account checked, feel free to reach out. Either myself okay. or someone on, from my team will be more than happy to, to assist you. Okay, will do. Thanks, Jade. Talk to you later. No problem. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.